Hey there, it's Andrew. Gonna do another set of six AOA and French decks here. Let's see what we get. We got Bromnar Logo Sanctum here. Denis Pixel Sa Sage de la Pose. Um, so speed, Amber and Word Control, some Amber and Word Control. Could get some ramp in the some, you know, uh Amber generation in the Brabnar and Sanctum, but it really depends. It's not what I really think of. I mean, you know, every time I open an AOA deck, I'm just trying to re diagnose what the problem is and what is wrong with it. I think the the lack of viability in the untamed, the loss of cards like control the weak and these. Maybe even the loss of a rise. I think unlocked gateway is a much worse card than normal gateway. So those are those are I think all contributing factors. All right, let's see what we get here. Rotheus. Rotheus is a great card. Taunt hazardous four, so good. Uh, Gray Rider also a great card. Take hostages, that's good. Shield of Justice, love it. Two Hallowed Shield. What is it with the double Hallowed Shield? It's because it's a common. It's a terrible common. Golden Aura, also a really sad common. Um, why? Because I'd rather have Inspiration even, because Inspiration at least readies, whereas Golden Aura does not ready, and I think that makes it worse. All right. Blinding Light is a great card. Two, three Avons. Wow. If you have all three Avons out, that's a lot of armor. I'm loud. Okay. Lion, that's good. Oh, hey. Hey, time traveler. Uh, one, two, three, three pips in Sanctum. That's not a ton, but let's see what we get in Logos. Time traveler is a good card. Oh, two time travelers. That's good. Okay. Two time travelers. That's super good. Wow. It has an amber. When you play it, you draw two. It has action. You shuffle it back in your deck. But it's going to be paired with two copies of Help from Future Self, which also is an action that also has an amber, and we'll pull this either from the deck or the discard pile, and it shuffles the discard pile in. But you can get into a pretty crazy loop with two of these. That's great. Okay. Wow. All right. Now, you know what? I don't think we're going to get, because it's AOA, but what I would love is, you know, like Twin Bolt Emissions, uh, positron bolt that would be really good so that we could easily cycle these even in the same turn we're not going to get it but imagine getting these with two twin bolt emissions and a library access that would be insane all right replicator there's those help from future self uh backup copy that's interesting you could put that on the time traveler that'd be really good wild wormhole standardized testing two library babbles okay a cutthroat research and Archimedes too. So, you know, what's missing here is a bouncing death quark, but with the standardized testing, it's not bad. Um, Cause getting to like play these, kill them, archive them, man, that is, that could be super good. Yeah, no helper bot, right? Right, so two is the lowest power we've seen even. So standardized testing is gonna probably hit those. All right, uh, take that smarty pants. Okay, that's kind of, that's kind of fun. Ogopogo, ooh, Grump Buggy, that's great. But is it great for us? Lion Boutrum makes it okay, I guess. But we don't have any big creatures here. We got Ogopogo, but I love Grump Buggy. It's a great card. Huh. Uh, burn the Stockpiles, Lollop, Into the Fray, Groggins, um, okay, Gauntlet, Foozle, First Blood, Coward's End, uh, Bingle Bang Bang. Okay, so wow, those, I mean, really, what makes this deck good? It's having two time travelers. That's what makes this good, right? Um, how much amber do it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So thirteen amber pips. But on a single playthrough, I mean, we're going to actually do better than that because of the time travelers. 
and the speed is probably going to be pretty good. We're going to end up, we're going to end some turns with more than six cards in hand, very likely. Um, and let's see, the Grumble, Grumble you with the Burn the Stock Pile, that's really cool. We got Ogopogo, Lala, Grogans, that's three, Foozle, four. Four creatures that count toward the grunt buggy. That's that makes me sad. Um, and even the lion can, I mean, he can make the Avons big. That's a lot of armor, like I said, so that's actually kind of good. Make Rotheus big enough. Um, but that's really it. So, yeah, a little iffy on whether we play the grunt buggy, but this seems fun. I am excited about this deck. I and mean, can I say, like, when you're getting cheap deals, which I did, um, on AOA, this is kind of cool, right? Because if you get a whole display or even two displays, and this is the only good deck you get, like, this is actually interesting enough to justify, you know, some amount of money. So, um, and that's okay. It's okay that, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's less interesting. This is, this seems fun. We got five more. I spent a lot of time on that one, but it seems good. Uh, Fastwise, that's got to be in the 70s. Even though the Amber Control isn't amazing, I think the Burn the Sock Piles and the Ground Buggy makes it pretty good. All right. Uh, let's see here. What's next? Will it be as interesting? Um, Untamed Bravnar Shadows. Uh, like the Knot. Commandant Q Kent. Oh, that last. Yeah, I said the name of the last one too. I like the turtle shape though. Uh, probably kind of board heavy. Hopefully, some good amber control in the shadows, but we'll see. Uh oh. Heart of the Forest. That's interesting. Part of the forest says players can't forge keys while they have more keys than their opponent. So it can stall out the game forever, potentially. It's going to be best if we have a, if we have a key cheat, a way to forge key three on the same turn as key two, because that means we can stall out, wait, and then suddenly when we forge key two, immediately forge key three. So... All right, that's very interesting. Got the Heart of the Forest. We got a pen pack of Enga. That would be really good if we turn on to get a Might Makes Right. It'd be fun to get a Heart uh, Heart of the Forest with like a Might Makes Right. Nature's Call is a great card. Mimicry is a great card. I mean, these are good cards here. Tantadlin, Song of the Wild, Rusnar, Regrowth. These are okay. Marmo Swarm. There's our key charge. There's our key charge. Now, the question is, can you burst high enough, right? Because we got we don't have that many pips in Untamed. If you have, like, a Soldiers to Flowers, then you could potentially be in a situation where you have all your Untamed creatures in the discard pile and you do, like, Soldiers to Flowers key charge on uh, for key three. This is going to be a little rougher. Glimmer means you can get the key charge back, though. It also means you can get the heart back if you need to, as long as it's not purged. we got two Glimmers. That's interesting. So, okay, interesting stuff there. Uh, Redlock, terrible card. We got Night Forge. That's our second key cheat. So we got two different key cheats so far. But Night Forge can't work to seal the deal here because it only works if you didn't forge a key already. So that actually does not combo. If you forge key two, you can't use Night Forge the same turn. You can play it, but it won't forge a key. Bone Rot Venom, uh, two Yancey Gangs, Umbra, two Ronnies. That's good. Lamindra, Herd of Investors. All right, um, let's see here. Signal Fire, use the Robinar creatures to fight, only to fight, but um, that could be that could be potentially good for getting like maybe your opponent has a lot of amber captured. You can burn that to get it back on your key charge turn. Um. War chest, two war chests. Wow. Tremor, Grogans, two Grogans. But we're into commons now. So we're, in, oh my gosh. 
Yeah, Drummer Knot. Cal find three Bramos. Wow, Drummer Knot means you can might play four Bramos and then a one two punch. So that's just okay. And here's the problem. How do you burst up? The, so the best case scenario, the way that you potentially make this work with this deck is that you go to like five amber, you go to, you forge your first key, then you go to like five amber, and then you have a turn where you burst up to like 15, right? You do, you know, you go shadows and you just play a lot of, you make a lot of amber. Like you steal two, you steal four with the Ronnie's, Or you just have a turn where you blow things out with Bravnar and hit the two war chests. So there's some options. Get you just you need to generate a lot of amber because then your opponent's gonna try to stop you, and you need to go into that last turn forging key two and having enough that you can forge key three that same turn with the key charge. And it's gonna be really hard with this deck because simply because. It's difficult to generate that much the turn before. I don't think it has that much raw generation, and it really doesn't have it in Untamed. So, so you're going to struggle, you know, like to actually do it in Untamed. Um, so I, I, that's what this has working against it. Um, and oh, and then the other thing I was going to say is there's no there's no archive. I ugh, tongue help. Uh, there's no archiving whatsoever. So. You can't even, like, in an ideal scenario, you can maybe even, like, archive most of your Untamed. So at least you have the maximum burst in Untamed. But here, you're going to have what you drew or what you held, which slowed you down. It seems rough. So interesting. Um, maybe viable Heart of the Forest deck. Certainly depends on the, uh, the level of play. But it's not going to be reliable enough to be, like, a top-tier perk deck. All right, but interesting. Hey, we got two interesting decks in a row. So let's see if we can keep it up. The last six, I felt like there just wasn't anything very interesting. Except for the one where I, I think I, there's one that where I liked the Hollowed Shield. Uh, so ho hopefully this is interesting too. Logo Mars, that'd be amazing to have a good combo there. And Shadows. Um, there's potential in these houses for sure. Um, one of the, I, it d definitely seems like one of the predictors for how good a set will be compared to other sets is just the quality of the commons, because you are going to get so many commons, and because you can't deck build, it's not like you can build a deck out of all rares by spending thousands of dollars, so you're going to have a lot of commons, and so, um, if you, if the commons are good, then the decks are going to generally be good, if the commons, if a lot of the commons are iffy, which I think is true in AOA, true in uh somewhat true in dark tidings then it's going to be rough all right dust runner i love dust runner that's great bone rot venom is an interesting card um growing stars swindle okay sucker punch we got a ronnie uh, I think this means we're not getting like a too much to protect, but that's okay potentially. We got Miasma. I mean, let's hope it would be nice with the, the Miasma. We talked uh, on another one of these. If you get like an interdimensional graft with, that's still pretty good. Alamindra, Nuffles Bolton is terrible. Uh, Gamgee, although we could put the Dusk Runner on the Nuffles, that would be fine. Gamgee, Furtive Investors, okay. Now, um, so this is actually, this is an okay shadow setup. Like, I don't, it's not amazing, but it's fine. It's really fine. Okay. <sighs> Hypnotic Command is a good card. Is a rare. So, um, but Martian Gen would have come after it. So we're not getting a Martian Gen in this deck. All right. But we got Hypnotic Command. That is a very interesting card. Could be good. Uh, Zookeeper is a good card, too. Nizek Resonator, good card. We got two of those. Uh, Zizix, that's a good card. 
Harvester, Fix Finger, two proliferators. Oh, two proliferators with the not command. We can keep all the stuff on the board. Amazing. And then cl two collector worms, carpet floxum. So the carpet floxum, probably not going to do much, but you could have if you're behind, drop the carpet floxum and then drop a bunch of Mars creatures. And um, if you could, you know, keep the Mars on the board and keep using the proliferators to bring back hypnotic command, that would just be insane. Uh, that could be pretty oppressive. So, okay, that's interesting. <clears throat> I'm not sure how reliable it is, is the problem, but it's interesting. Replicator is a fun card, and uh, wow, Replicator with Proliferator could even be interesting. Replicator could copy Zookeeper, it could copy Gamgee, it could copy, uh, it could copy a Dusk Runner. Could it copy the Dusk Runner? I need to check that. That's crazy. I don't think so, but I'll, I should check. Um, it could copy the Harvester. Yeah, that's cool. Neutron Shark is a great card. That's good. There's some good stuff in here. All right. Uh, sloppy Lab Work, I love it. I like it better than Lab Work because anytime I'm discarding the worst card in my hand, which is the one I'm going to choose to discard, anytime I'm discarding the worst option to get a better option, I'm happy. So Sloppy Lab Work, great. Two Rocket Boots, that's interesting. Um, throw that on the Replicator, throw it on Proliferator, Harvester, Zookeeper. That's interesting. Interdimensional Graph, like I said, that is really good with the Swindle. So cool. It's good with the Resonators, too. Um, as long as you're actually preventing the Forge. You prevent the Forge, and then hopefully they kill the Resonators, and you drop the Interdimensional Graft. And this is a card you'd really want to archive if you, you know, if you can. Uh, Wild Wormhole, that's fun. Standardized Testing. Sutterkin. Sutterkin with Rocket Boots would be amazing. Pip Pip. Uh, Igor. Cutthroat Research. There's good stuff in here. This seems, um, this is interesting. It's not... It's not Jenkin, but it is interesting. Neutron Shark is so good. All right. That seems good. How many pips? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten pips. Uh, that's not a super high number, but still interesting. Okay. Well, it seems like an interesting box so far. And, uh, or at least the sub six. See if it keeps up. <clears throat> Logo Sanctum Untamed. All right. You know, Untamed, I get less excited about. But hey, if I get another... Heart deck with logo to boot. I'd be pretty excited. <clears throat> uh, that's not heart. That's world tree. Um, yeah, that's an interesting card. Curiosity. Uh, no, it's not curiosity. That is uh, perilous wilds. That's right. Pen pack of Jaga, Niffle Grounds. Flaxia, Camouflage, Tentadlin, Song of Spring, Marmo Swarm, Two Glimmers, Full Moon. Okay. <clears throat> A lot of recursion here. Okay, there's some interesting stuff. Nothing, nothing, nothing crazy. That's right. Golgotha, I love. Five power before fight, do two damage to the neighbors. Two armor, it's great. Uh, free markets, really good. Amber Spam. Uh, Baron Mangaman, okay, that's some interesting, that's that's a really interesting capture card, and I feel like this was missing from Mass Mutation. They really shouldn't have brought Baron Mangaman back in Mass Mutation with all the discard from hand effects. Man. That was a missed opportunity, in my opinion. Hmm. Okay. Nobody asked me. Uh, Shield of Justice, Hallowed Shield, 
Chal, Ab, two Abades, Abon, two Abons, two Lions. Wow, lots of doubles. Okay. Uh, one of my least favorite cards. Master Theory. Hate it. Uh, Rocket Boots, Smoko, Researcher, Wild Wormhole, Titan Mechanic, Sutterkin, Poke, Pip, 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 Pip. Igor Archimedes, that's just okay. Yeah, that's just okay. All right, not going to spend more time on that one. All right. Dees Logos Untamed. Oh, I haven't seen all the names. That's okay. D Graves La Dimni. All right, let's see. Uh, Nipplegrams. Um, Nature's Call, okay. Life Web, they're everywhere. Regrowth, Persistence Hunting, wow. Six pips in a row and a key charge. That's okay. All right, Gl two Glimmers, all right. Darna, two Darnas. Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, Maverick, one, two punch. That's kind of cool. I guess, what else, uh, are we going to stun anything? I don't know that we are, but, um, so probably won't destroy it, but getting a stun is fine. Um, that's seven pips plus a key charge. Um, obviously we're not going to have the whole set in our hands, but that's kind of cool. Uh, the glimmers I think are going to end up being good. If we get big creatures, especially in these, then the darnest could be good. Otherwise they're going to be kind of sad. So we'll see. Ooh, pro oh, we have project. Okay. Project ZYX is a good card. Uh, it's a cool card anyway. Fight Reef, you can play a card from your archives. Um, as if it were in the active house. That's fun. So, all right. I like that. Cool. Uh, Entropic Swirl is a fantastic card. It's just a good card. So that makes me happy. Director of ZYX, two researchers, all right. These are good. Uh, two wild wormholes, okay. Titan mechanic, I'm glad, and a Titan librarian. I'm glad to see big creatures because that potentially sets up the Darna. Uh, I like that. Lab work is fine. Hexbeon, Igor, yeah, okay. I like these. Oh man, I mean, playing Igor and ZYX researchers and then like reap with the project to play Nature's Call out of your, out of your uh, archive, that'd be pretty cool. I like this. I don't know how good it is, but it seems fun. Uh, okay, Onyx Knight, fine. Spider Poltergeist, we have artifact control. That's great. Yurk is good. Two Yurks, okay. That's good for two reasons. Number one, because it's a big creature that might stick on the board, big-ish. It might stick on the board and make the Darnas worthwhile. And also because, <clears throat> again, discarding the worst card of my hand is always good. Two Streaks, um, two Misery Exploits. I'm not as excited about that, but uh, I think it could be okay here. Um, Gub, I like that. Dust Imp. Binding irons, not too excited, but all right, let's just count pips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven pips, but that's not counting the tropic swirl. Um it's not counting misery exploit, which I actually think is likely to get something. It's not counting the dust imp. So this seems fast enough. And then the the key charge like makes it an actual threat. This could be pretty good. Uh it seems like the, the goal with this deck is just go fast. But hopefully with the archives, we're able to have a have pretty efficient turns. 
Um, you know, if you can get this deck to play four to five cards per turn, um, thanks to the logos, you'd be really, really happy. So, all right, that's that's fun. That is D Graves uh, Dingy. Uh, all right, last one for now. Hope it's interesting. <laughs> I won't blame it for not being after having a bunch of other good ones, but um, it'd be fun. So Cubig's Hironian de Vinecliff. All right. Untamed these shadows. Uh, common cold. Okay. Way of the porcupine. Ooh, soldiers to flowers. Niffle grounds. Flaxia. Camouflage. That's a lot of amber here. Rustnar. Persistence hunting. Nox. Glimmer. Full moon. Dusk witch. All right. That's a lot of amber, right? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, five amber. Plus any from Soldiers to Flowers, plus Flaxia, plus the Glimmer, plus the Full Moon, and the Dust Witch. So this is actually a strong Amber Generating Untamed. I really like that. And, uh, wow, Into Shadows, and we have Routine Job. <clears throat> this is a special rare. We are, Well, it's a rare, but when you get it, you're going to get at least two, up to four. And it says steal one. Um, and you steal one more. I don't know if it, I don't remember the exact wording, but you steal one more for each copy of routine job that's in your discard pile. So I hope we get four. I the likeliest outcome is we get two. That seems to be the likeliest outcome. So we're definitely gonna get two. And then the question is if there's a third. No, there's not. Okay. Well, that's still good, but not as good. Um, but we had Glimmer. So that's a great Glimmer target. All right. Key of Darkness. Uh, we didn't have a key charge, did we? No. So, yikes. Um, special Delivery. That's a great card. Merkins. Yay. I want more Merkins. No. Oh, well, that's okay. Um, all right. Get some archives. Yancy's uh, whistling darts. Swindle. Okay. That's a lot of steel. Uh, knuckle, two knuckles boltons. Why? That's so sad. <sighs> Scullion. Hysteria. Ooh, what do you do with hysteria in this deck? Do you play it? I mean, look. You could, yeah. I think you do, probably. Uh, maybe. Guess it depends on the situation. Could be good, though. Gongoozle. Uh, gold key. Interesting. Okay. So that actually could lead to a situation where you win because of having Key of Darkness. Because if you uh, throw down the gold key up, and, and can protect it long enough that you get to where you're threatening key three. And neither of you can afford to kill it. Uh, you could get to a turn where you kill it and uh, forge with the key of darkness. That could be your way to win with key of darkness. Uh, unlocked gateway. Okay. Tesmal. Misery exploit. Lash is good. Gub. Exum. Dust imp. Blood shard imp. All right. These are okay. These are okay things. I mean, that'd be kind of fun to do like a... Well, Exhum Dusk Witch is a, is a fun move. So you could even like Exhum the Merkins and then Hysteria. That'd be fun. I just love Merkins so much. That seems okay. It's not... I don't think it's great, but it seems actually pretty interesting. So that's uh, that's all we can ask for. Um, well, that's fun. I think that's a, that's a pretty good set of decks right there. And uh, I need to play a few of them. So um, we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I have another, I have one more display left of the French AOA. I'll probably do this way. And then I have half a display of English AOA 
I probably just want to play that person. But I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and get out there and forge some keys.